I have struggled a lot understanding the concept and science behind the color grading process and I'm still trying to understand how it actually works. Getting the right colors and that cinematic look is not just about the grading process. It goes way back to the shooting process as well. Let me show you. So this one particular thing lays the foundation for how our actual footage is going to look like in the end. It's more about how we actually expose our footage in camera before we actually sit down to grade the footage. So it differs from camera to camera, picture profile to picture profile. I am using the Sony a7 IV, that's why I'm shooting in S-Log3. Once we have gotten our footage to be exposed properly, the next step is to color correct it. Color correction and color grading are two very separate things and it took me also quite some time to understand the difference. Color correction is mainly just about correcting the exposure, the white balance, the contrast, all of those subtle things and the color grading process comes further down the line. I have almost always used Premiere Pro. But since the time DaVinci came in the market, a lot of people have made the switch over to DaVinci because of the grading environment that they give. I too was kind of considering it, but then I got to know about Dehancer. Dehancer is a plugin that is used in Premiere Pro, After Effects and even Final Cut. It's a film emulating plugin, which is a fancy way of saying that it can actually help you color grade very easily. So there is no one way of color grading any footage. There are multiple ways. Everybody is doing it their way. This is how I use Dehancer to grade my videos. How do we actually get a look from this to this in like five minutes? If you are color grading anything, do it on an adjustment layer. You add that adjustment layer exactly on top of that footage that you're using. Go to effects, search for Dehancer Pro, add that effect. So this is like how it actually adds its effect automatically. You can change everything. The first thing I do is I disable the film grain. So there are two, three ways of going about this. So as the footage is already Rec. 709, so I can directly set it to Rec. 709 or I can choose directly the camera that I've used. There are a lot of cameras. So as I've used a7 IV, S-Log3, as it has already converted my footage, I won't be doing that again. I won't select any camera. It's already at Rec. 709, but here is where you can convert it if you want to. So what I've realized is to actually see the look directly without, you know, pushing too many knobs here and there, you can simply decrease the opacity of the adjustment layer to around 40-45%. Then we go to film and here is where we find 60 plus film profiles. Thank you, Dianzer. So I check each individual picture profile that actually fits the video that I'm going for. Maybe this, maybe that. So this looked good, the previous one. So basically I can't tell you which picture profile to actually choose. You have to decide it according to the footage that you are shooting. And I might have to change these profiles according to each shot that I'm shooting. And I don't really dive into any of these. I just go to film grain now and choose like the least ISO and enable that because that will just give me like a hint of grain in my shadows. That's so subtle, I love. That is too subtle. I'll increase it if I want, but I keep it to 65 mm 50 for almost all of my videos. Then comes the favorite part, halation. This particular thing that you see here, like the red portion on the highlight, is called halation and you can set it according to your liking. I set it to like the least. So these are the settings that I play with mainly. Well, this was a very basic rundown of how I actually grade my videos. It is not the only way to grade your videos and I'm still learning. I still feel I'm not that well versed with how to expose my footage, grade it, correct it. So I'm still learning and whatever videos I have posted, I've used this particular method to get that look. I hope you got something out of this. Do check out Dehancer and you can use this particular code to get 10% off if you wanna buy it. They have a 14 day free trial as well. They even have a phone app that you can now use. Do check that out as well. And if you have any doubts, comment or just DM me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.